Hi, and welcome to Bariatric Care. I am Dr. Connie Stapleton. I'm a licensed psychologist. I've been working in the field of bariatric medicine for almost 20 years. A couple of years ago, at the ripe old age of 60, yes indeed, I decided to go to yoga training school to become a yoga teacher with the express purpose of teaching yoga to the bariatric patients with whom I worked. I've been doing yoga for many, many years and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to do a chair series for you. Chair yoga is a good way to learn to settle your body, settle your mind, come to an acceptance and get used to movement. So without any further ado, we are going to begin our chair yoga sequence. What I want you to do is find a comfortable position. Now, you want to have a chair that's not going to slide on you, that's going to stay stable in one place in case you happen to slip a little bit. So make sure your chair isn't going to go anywhere. If you're not a very tall person, you can take a block and put it on the floor and let the floor rise up a little bit to you. If you've got two blocks, or two books, anything that is solid and is not going to slip around on you, and your feet will meet the floor, your blocks more easily, please feel free to do that. If you'd like to take a blanket or a pillow and set it underneath your bottom so that your sit bones, the ones that may be protruding and hurting a little bit on that chair if it's not padded, Use a blanket if you want to have a blanket behind your back. Eh, that may or may not work. Or you may have a little mat. For yoga, they make these little knee mats, but you can also sit on them to add a little bit of comfort. So whatever kind of props you need, we can pause the video and go get them. But we're going to come to a, an easy seated pose, which is called Sukhasana. You can sit with your feet flat on the ground. You can come toward the front of your chair or you can slide to the back if you want. If it's if your body allows you to, then go ahead and sit crisscross applesauce, as my kindergarten granddaughters say. Just come to an easy seated pose, Sukhasana. We're going to start by slowing ourselves down and bringing ourselves into this space, into this moment. So just get comfortable, shrug yourself around, whatever you need to do, and we're going to do a little bit of breathing. And the breathing that we're going to do is designed to really center us, to slow our bodies down, to slow our minds, get rid of any, any stress we might be carrying around. So get comfortable arms wherever you want. If you're comfortable doing so, go ahead and close your eyes. And the breathing pattern that we're going to use is called a 5-2-7 pattern. So we're going to inhale to the count of five, hold that breath for a count of two, and then exhale to a count of seven. I'm going to do one round of this. It's hard to breathe with someone else counting, but I'm just going to show you how this is done. Then I'm going to let you do this a little bit on your own. And before we, we begin class, I want to remind you that our theme for today's class is going to be acceptance. We're going to learn to have more compassion and acceptance for our bodies, what they will do, what they're not yet ready to do. So give yourself permission to just be where you're at today. There's no ego in yoga, no comparison. Nobody can even see you but you. So your feet can be hip width distance apart, flat on the floor on your blocks, spine straight, shoulders back, maybe expand your chest a little bit, hands rested facing up or palms down on your legs, either way is fine, whatever's most comfortable for you. And I'm going to count this first round of breath. So we'll inhale to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five, hold for one, two, exhale, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. So I'm going to encourage you to do that pattern on your own, sitting comfortably. Just be aware of your breathing and only focus on your counting. Inhale for five, hold for two, exhale for seven. This pattern of breathing is really, really good for clearing your mind, for decreasing your level of tension in your body and stress, and for helping you to be able to make better decisions, which is something we can all benefit from. So wherever you're at in your breathing, Take your last round and then your next, when you complete your next breath, exhale. Go ahead and open your eyes. Calm. We're gonna start by getting some movement in our feet and our ankles. Sometimes our joints are stiff and We'd like to have a little oil can, like in the Wizard of Oz, right? We're going to begin by moving your right foot up, putting your right foot down. Left foot up, heels remain on the ground, left foot down. We'll add some breathing here in just a minute. So what we're basically going to be doing is keeping our heels on the ground. We're going to raise and lower one foot at a time. Just getting some movement in our ankle joints. There's a lot of little bones down in there. You may feel this in your calf muscles as you expand and contract those muscles. All right, so everybody stabilize your feet on the floor and we'll do this in unison with our breath because we wanna yoke or bring together our breath and our movement. So we'll Raise your right foot on an inhale and lower on the exhale. Raise your left foot on your inhale and lower on your exhale. Two more. Inhale as you raise your right foot. Exhale as you lower. Inhale as you raise your left foot. And exhale as you lower. Inhale as you raise your right foot. Exhale as you lower. One more with your left foot. Inhale as you lift. And exhale as you lower. Now we're going to do a little brain yoga along with our feet. So we're going to lift your right foot and lower your right while you lift your left. So raise and lower like alternating. One is up, one is down. Inhale as you do one movement, exhale as you do another. Now you're gonna feel this in the front of your calves as you lift and lower. And you contract those muscles and you Sometimes get real tricky here increase the pace. You don't have to increase the pace of your breathing. Just increase the pace of your feet. And when your body has had enough and your legs are like, I'm done, go ahead and stop. Let's just see how fast you can do that. Okay? It's like you're a drum or something. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and stretch our legs out in front of us a little bit again. If the floor is too far away, we like our props in yoga. So maybe Put your feet up. We're going to have our the back of our heels 
on the floor or a block and we're gonna just make big circles with our ankles in one direction inhale and exhale evenly through your nose the rest of our body's not doing too much now we're going to reverse that maybe pay just a smidge of attention to your spine is your spine lengthening the crown of your head is toward see that my feet got all whacked up when i patted my head all right little twisting 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 good all right so we've, we've loosened up our ankle joints all right we'll go ahead and put our feet back on the floor or on your blocks feet about hip width distance apart here all right we're going to work on loosening up our shoulders a little bit all right now anything we do is optional if raising your arms to any level is uncomfortable in yoga we're looking for sensation we want to feel it in our body but we do not want to experience any pain so if you've had a shoulder replacement or if you've had any surgeries in your back or your spine and you experience any pain then you just come out of the pose and do smaller movement so we're going to begin by putting our hands on our shoulders invite them up there if they don't want to go you can also put your hands right out in front of you so on your shoulders or out in front of you whichever is most accessible to you and from here we're going to inhale as we raise our elbows to the side you may be able to raise them two inches or four inches or you may be able to get your elbows shoulder level this isn't a competition it's not a contest it's about accepting where your body is at today if your body movement says this feels good enough for me then that's how far you go so at your own level of ability if your arms are out here just raise up your shoulders a little bit either way works we're just releasing some tension in the shoulders so we're going to lift from the elbows inhale on the as you raise and exhale as you lower whatever level is comfortable for your body you're going to inhale raise exhale lower I've moved a little closer to the front of my chair so that my spine can remain straight and long. My gaze is forward. Exhale as you lower. My chin is parallel to the floor. My legs are relaxed. Inhale and exhale. We'll do three more. If your body says it's finished, go ahead and place your hands on your thighs. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Last one. Right, one last one. Inhale. This is a bonus. Now, again, let's just take a few, just do a few shoulder shrugs in either direction, release some of the tension, maybe shake your arms out a little bit, a little arm shimmy there. All right, let's just shrug our shoulders all together. We'll go backwards for three. We'll inhale, roll those shoulders back, keep that spine straight and long. Two more inhale up exhale down and around again any pain don't move as far limit the motion and accept what your body's going to do today we're going to reverse that rotation inhale as you go back exhale as you go forward inhale Inhale, and exhale, good, 
Again, shake it all out, just loosen everything up. You may not have moved these joints for a while. All right, get yourself comfortable in your chair. We're gonna just loosen up our neck a little bit. And again, you may have had surgery on your neck. You may have had surgery in the spine. So do all of these movements with caution and only what's comfortable for your body. So we're just going to tilt our head forward, moving our chin closer to our chest. So we're going to inhale, and on the exhale, tilt your head forward, feeling the movement. Move real slowly here in the back of your neck, maybe through your shoulders, and only as far as is comfortable for your body. We'll inhale. Uh, as we lift and we're only going to come to neutral we're not going to tilt our neck backwards there's too much crinking and cracking and we don't want to cause any problems for our neck inhale and as you exhale again just lower that chin toward the chest keeping your shoulders expanded Maybe even push your shoulder back blades together just an inch or so toward your back to expand the front side of our body as we lower our chin toward our chest and inhale. Raise and we'll do just one. Inhale and on your exhale, lower the chin, keeping your back straight your chest open pinch those shoulder blades a little bit together toward the back just to improve that posture and inhale back to neutral again shake everything out loosen things up and we're going to do some very gentle turning of the neck side to side if your body feels comfortable with that movement. If not, you can again do some shoulder shrugs, maybe move your hands from one shoulder to the other. That will expand the back of your shoulder girdle. If your neck feels comfortable, let's keep our chin parallel to the floor as we open to the right. We'll inhale and again, an inch, two inches over towards your shoulder, whatever's comfortable on the inhale and exhale. Back to neutral. Nothing jarring, very smooth and slow. Inhale as you turn your neck to the left. Back to neutral. We'll do two more on each side. Inhale to the right. Exhale to neutral. Shrug those shoulders down and away from your ears. Inhale. Relax your muscles of your legs and feet. Inhale to the right. Exhale to center. Last one. Inhale to the left. And exhale. All right. So our shoulders, our necks, our ankles are warmed up. We're going to do some sun salutations. Now again, if it's more comfortable for you to slide up toward the edge of your chair, please do so. If you are comfortable seated back in the chair, that is wonderful as well. What we want to do is try to have a straight spine. One of the ways to help with a straight spine is to lift the shoulders up bring them back. It opens the chest and helps us get a natural curve to our spine. 
So sitting in a comfortable position, feet about hip width distance apart and your spine nice and straight in good posture. Invite your arms, palms up, out to the side of the airplane. And if it's available to you today, if we're going to raise our hands up, toe apart, and bring them as close together as possible. If this is how far they go, this is glorious. Accept where your body is today. And then we're going to exhale our arms down. And we're going to do that two more times. So we're going to palms up. Raise your arms to whatever degree is comfortable for your body. And exhale, palms together. As we come back down, palms up, inhale. And exhale, excellent. Now, we're going to do the same movement, and as we exhale, we're going to hinge from our waist and bring our shoulders and chest toward our knees. And again, listen to your body, accept where it's going, and if you are able to lower your hands, please do so. So here, let's do this together. I'll sit sideways, but you can sit straight. I just want to kind of show you what I'm doing from the side. So we're going to inhale our arms up as far as they are willing to go. It's comfortable without any pain. Exhale down, and as you exhale down, hinge over your legs. Maybe stay here. Maybe relax more fully. We're going to inhale as we rise. Two more. Exhale, hinge from the waist. And then we can round the back. Maybe drop your hands. Hands are fine on your knees. Last one. Inhale. Rise. You're going to feel this in your back, your shoulders your hips. Exhale, lower. Beautiful. All right, we'll all meet facing forward. We're going to do one more round of sun salutations, and this time as we exhale, we're going to do a gentle twist. Again, your twist may be very gentle, a few inches. We're twisting from our waist. We're not twisting our body. All right, so we're twisting from the waist, hinging, hinging, right? Like we have, like we're a, a, one of those old fashioned dolls that has a crease all the way around the middle and it just moves from there. So if a little bit is what your body says is great and that is wonderful stretching for you, then we're going to celebrate that. So we're going to inhale. And as we exhale to the right, bring your left hand to your knee and gently twist your body. And we want to keep our back straight and level, head neutral, crown of the head toward the ceiling, chin parallel to the floor, and just twist to whatever degree you feel tension but no pain. Working the intercostal muscles, which are between your ribs. You're working the muscles that join at the spine. Inhale, arms up. We'll do two more on this side. Exhale. Left hand comes to the right knee. Twist from the waist. You can use the back of your chair, or you can just let your right arm hang down or hold onto the side of the chair. Come forward, last one, inhale. As you exhale, left hand to right knee, and twist. 
this is going to be helpful in everyday movements of life, help you with your balance, keep you from falling maybe. This is always a great thing. We're going to do the same movement and twist to the left. So arms up, inhale, exhale, right hand to the left knee, twisting from the waist. Two more like that. Inhale, exhale, your knees are going to want to come with you. Let's try to keep our knees and legs forward by keeping those feet planted firmly on the ground. A lot going on here, right? Arms, arms up, exhale, twist. few more moves here and accept that this may be your first movement in a long time and that you are doing a great job. Any effort toward movement is effort in the right direction. All right, we're going to do a seated cat and cow. So you probably want to come closer to the edge of your seat for this one. Again, feet stay hip width distance apart, soles of the feet flat on the floor or on your block. So I'm going to turn just a little bit so you can see what's going on, but you can stay toward the front. All right, so we're going to begin, shrug your shoulders up toward your ears and then down away from your ears to relax them. Hands resting gently on your thighs. And we're going to do cat-cow. So what we do when we do cat-cow is we're going to really get a lot of movement in the spine. So we're going to inhale, and as we inhale, we're going to curve, we're going to bend our back, we're going to stick our belly and our chest forward, and we're going to lift our head just a little. Expand, inhale, and then as we exhale, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to contract around the spine, Chin comes toward the chest. We're going to stretch inward. Now we're going to inhale and expand. Curve the spine the other direction. Maybe the gaze looks up toward the ceiling or can remain looking straight ahead. And exhale and contract round the spine chin toward the chest one more time inhale expand feel your shoulder blades come together towards your back widen to the front of your chest and exhale as you contract pull your belly muscles in chin towards your chest curl it all in and then come back to neutral. A lot of good movement in that cat and cow. All right, last thing we're gonna do today in our movement is we're gonna work on the sides of our body, getting some movement and some stretching in the sides of our body. Again, honor your body's abilities today. Accept where they're at today, where you're at today, and acceptance is something that we can use in our practice and take with us into the world. Self-acceptance is not something that most of us are very good at. If you've struggled with weight issues all of your life, it may have been more of a struggle for you. So we're gonna work on improving self-acceptance. So as we inhale, first of all, let's get our, our seated position here, all right? Again, chin parallel to the floor. That tells us that we're not Stringing our neck in either direction, crown of the head toward the ceiling, roll the shoulders up and back. All right, so we're going to bring our arms, raise them up, inhale like an airplane. Then we are going to tilt to the right, trying to keep everything in one plane. All right, 
arms move the same trajectory here. We're bending right from the waist. Now you're gonna feel this on the left side of your body. These muscles are pulling apart. And then we're gonna exhale back to neutral. Ooh, that can be a trip, right? If you feel dizzy at all, don't bend as far. We're gonna inhale here. And on our exhale, we're going to tilt our body toward the left. Keeping both hip bones, both hips firmly on the chair. If this feels uncomfortable for you and you feel like you need more balance, hold on to your chair. Don't worry about the arms. Inhale. Two more on each side. So take an inhale. On the exhale, tilt. Or hold on to your chair. Your arms might be tired by now. Just getting some lateral movement here. Exhale. We can play and have fun while we do this and be silly too, right? One more. is good for your core, for your posture, for your circulation. Definitely opens those muscles between your rib, ribs, the intercostals. Amazing. Great job. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to sit back in this chair. We're going to relax our bodies a little bit, a few shoulder shrugs backwards, and we're going to do a forward fold. Now, if you've got blood pressure problems, if you get dizzy easily, just go a little, just go a little, little bit. If forward folding doesn't bother you, doesn't put you off balance, let's just relax the whole body. Maybe this is as far as you go. Maybe you put your hands and hold your head. Maybe your body says, I'm just going to go all the way down. I'm going to put all my weight on my legs. Really feel that in your lower back, stretching that spine. Maybe even relax your head and let gravity just hold you here. Deep breath. Very slowly, very gently, roll up from your spine. Roll, roll, roll. We're going to bring our heads up last, all right, to honor our back and our spine. Very nice. Nice job. From here, we're going to sit back in our chair, get into as comfortable a position as you can. Again, if you have the flexibility, to sit crisscross applesauce, please do. Otherwise, feet on the floor or your block, you're fine. You can relax your spine, relax your shoulders away from your ears. I'm going to invite you to close your eyes. We're going to go into Shavasana. Palms can be up or down, hanging by the sides of your thighs or resting on your thighs. Take a good breath in, and we're going to do what we call sighing it out. So we're going to take a deep breath in. Sigh it all out with your cleansing breath. Do it one more time. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. This is weird when you first start doing this stuff. You're not just supposed to be used to it. 
want you to close your eyes and relax in Shavasana, which is when we just let our body do nothing. We incorporate the movement of the sounds. And again, I invite you to close your eyes. Bring your breath to your normal pace. Breathing in and out through your nose. And pay attention to your body and what you're aware of. Give your legs permission to relax. Your hips permission to relax. Your belly and your torso to rest for a bit. Relax your arms. Relax your facial muscles. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your tongue away from the roof of your nose. And breathe. Accept what your body is able to do today. And appreciate and celebrate the fact that you took time for you. You put forth effort into movement. You gave your body a positive experience. Take the acceptance of where you are today in all areas of your life with you off the mat and remind you, remind yourself throughout the day that wherever you are, it's okay. You're okay. And mostly I ask you to accept that you have great just because you are. And each of us has value for ourselves and to others. So I invite you to maybe wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, maybe stretch to the side or straight up. It doesn't really make you want to wait that stretch. Now you introduce you to my daughter Darla. That star will be here with me. <laughs> she loves to do that with her. I thank you for taking time to do yoga with me and to enjoy some movement. In yoga, we end usually by saying namaste, which means the light in me, the goodness in me, the part of me that is good and honest and loving, sees and honors the goodness and light and lovingness in me. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.